Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Xenoblade Chronicles 3. And in the last episode, <laughs> defiance to affection, in the last episode, uh, Jansen here, um, well, he uh, put the moves on uh, Mama Monica. It was quite the moment, indeed. Um, okay, so let's see. Show basic profile. So you're 33 and you're 22. All right, you like them older. You know what, Jansen? Respect. Respect, Jansen. You do you. Okay, solidarity. We got a bunch of the Ouroboros candidates. Sympathy. Who has sympathy for this bitch? <laughs> this, is, this is the true bitch queen right here. She was a good friend. Dana? Well, good on you, Jansen. <gasps> Hitting on your superior this. officer. I'll take point. Good thing HR doesn't exist in this world. So was I just mistaken? Is there? Oh, maybe that's him. That guy unique or just or something else? No, he's just a level 61. Okay. I'll claim the ether here. For some reason, I thought there was a unique down here, but. I guess they're just high level. I probably jumped down here and was scared by how high level these guys were. We're near our limits. Huh? Is that you itching to get wrecked? I need you, Mia. You look great! You can never go wrong with Samitha. Whoa! Get a load of the sky! Alright, all that just equals money for us at this point. Okay. See, well, this is what I was talking- Okay! Okay! I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. We've got a number of levels on this too, so this could end up being difficult. The real challenge will be when he gets into his rage state. That's when we're gonna really learn. Ooh, not bad, not bad. Yeah, it's too far away for me to get to right now. Damn it. I was trying to heal him right as he was about to go down. Okay, you all need to, like, get by me. Come on. Group up. Wow, 
Why do I have elementals around me? I am not that class. Okay, you guys are spreading out so much, it's making this fight impossible. <laughs> it doesn't help that he has that big blowdown attack that kind of naturally spreads people out. But still. Should have done healing there. How about this? You got some grit. I've got an idea. It's great. Everyone get ready. Yeah, I'm not sure we're going to make it through this one. Good heal. Oh my gosh. This is our last one, so it's all you, Noah. Since we're already struggling, I'm guessing that when we get into the rage state, he's probably going to start hitting us really, really hard. I'm actually pretty nervous about it, because it's going to take us a while to get there and find out if we're even going to be able to do this. Oh well, we'll just have to see. Oh, 
dude. That's good stuff. Oh, that's good stuff. I think Monica might have our smash right now. Is that right? Come on, top him up. Hell yeah, dude, that thing is so good. Holding on to that for like a dangerous moment. Real smart. Work with me here. Love those accents, dude. Yeah, look at Tyan right now. He's got elementals surrounding it. That's so weird. Ooh, you're in your uh, unlimited blade. Cool. Still almost got us over 150. Yeah, if you use her in the first round, it almost guarantees that she'll always be the one that comes back, too. So, I mean, you can, you can take that as an advantage or a disadvantage, depending on how you look at it. Um, obviously, they don't get as much damage potential being the heroes and not having fusion arts and stuff, but... You're guaranteed to be able to keep your things going for throughout the entire chain, at the very least, so... There's nothing to scoff at. It's amazing how far we've come from the beginning of the game where I felt like... So at the beginning of the game, we had much fewer tools at our disposal, and I felt like we had to have at least six levels higher than any uniques that we ever fought. And now here we are, fighting somebody that has several levels on us, and we're actually able to beat the fight, which is really a really fun progression to have on hard mode. <laughs> it feels good. It feels really good. Okay, this is our last one, so Senna and Tyon. So it's all you, Lance. It's all you. Okay, Monica's gonna have to end this one. So I can think of two things with Tyon. He has those elementals surrounding him right now. Either that's just a visual bug, or there's actually a mechanic that I'm unaware of with uh, 
with uh, Melia's class that can allow um, putting elementals on other party members. But I think it's just a visual bug. Wait. Did we ever put Tyon in Melia's class? I don't think so. So he didn't. He hasn't learned anything to like get. We're gonna check that. We're gonna check his uh, fusion skills to see if one of them is uh, uh, the elemental thing. If so, then like we should also give him the ability that lets him release the elementals, because otherwise it's not really a beneficial skill to have. We'll check that after this fight. Which looks like we're actually going to be able to beat it, so I'm pretty excited about that. Long as we play it cool. You've got at least two elementals on you, so go ahead and release them. Alright, he'll probably be dead before we can make it through our next chain. Hell yeah. Queenly pride. This should be good CP too. 200 CP. That's what I like to see. And so uh, it looks like we get origin shards from these guys too. All right. 200 CP, that's amazing. Okay, lands is maxed out. Um, uni is maxed out. Okay. Oh, you're you're maxed out too? Oh yeah, you hit 20. Look at that. I'm fine with attacking. I'll heal you right up. I really do like Troubadour as a class. You can get to 20 on that. And I am a-okay with that. Okay. Um, that's everybody who got maxed, right? Yes, indeed. Devotional. That's what I'm looking for for you. Okay, and one of the two of you. Memory locket. There we go. God, that outfit looks so dumb. <laughs> I don't know why I'm picking this one. I just I just think it 
I think it's just, it's just right, you know? It's just right. Um, did I not? Okay, there we go. It's just right. Anyways. Okay, grants a large increase to damage dealt. Max 500% for each buff active on all allies. We're not using the buff Need abilities power, on you very much, but maybe we should try it out and see how much that actually benefits you. Okay, everybody's down to like their last skill, it feels like. Except for maybe you. You've got one there. And one there. Yeah, everybody else is at 97 except for him. God, that's awesome. Almost there. We're almost there. It's vital to keep a record of events. All right, we're going to try and find any more rumors around the city. Sometimes doing a hero quest like that will unlock other things, you know what I mean? thought we'd survive it. <laughs> okay. Basically, let's start a bit of a wrap around from here. We'll try and check all of our corners of the city to see if there are any rumors about. We did pick up one that was about uh, the kids painting. We haven't discussed that one yet. But let's see if there's anything else. Hey, Hack, how you doing, buddy? You and Mwamba are planning to see some of the world together, right? Yeah, we've got a big battle ahead of us now, but after that, we'll head out on our travels. That's sad, because they're not going to get to do that. Really? Well, if you're ever in Colony Gamma, give me a shout. I'll show you around. This is like making the ending even more bittersweet for me. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I can't wait to find out what kind of place it is. So that's the state of affairs. Because all these people who are making connections between these two different worlds are like... Not going to be able to stay together. At least for now. There was an implication in the ending that they're going to search for a way to bring the worlds back together safely or something, but who knows where that could go. We created a lot of trouble for you and for Monica. I hope that you can forgive us. Guess I never thought that you'd join in on something like that. I just wanted to do whatever I could to help. Turns out it was a good opportunity to find out I have a lot left to learn. I took the liberty of collecting opinions uh, from each of us on our expected postings. I'm not too sure who I should present them to, though. Lieutenant Travis or Monica? Okay, I don't see that anybody's up here, so I don't think there's any reason for us to search for a rumor up there. Hold on a minute. 
Monica and Rosanna really handled themselves well, didn't they? Even though Garrett was supporting Brew, it ended in their defeat and regret, I dare say. Ah, so the ones fi uh, against fighting were helping the ones for it? That's right, they had completely different ideas, but it worked to catch Monica off guard. Alliances really can spring up in the strangest of places, you know. Shania, we can't leave your name here, but... I've been thinking lately... Your desires, your hopes, we'll shoulder them for you. Oh, that's an interesting bit of dialogue from Monica there. Did you hear that? So they're, they're not going to write Shania's name here. It's kind of sad in its own right, isn't it? Rather than us or the six houses, maybe you should be the ones to decide the future. But I mean, you're from the city. You're a citizen here. That's true, but we're too predisposed to, fo uh, to focusing on the here and now. If we keep doing that forever, then the world will come to a standstill. Ooh, you do not know how right you are, Clara. In fact, you are technically in a standstill. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Funny choice of words, that. Bit ironic. there's anybody up there. Hi, Garrett. How you doing, yonry bastard? You guys are the first outsiders we ever let in. Then came the city relocating. There's a sizable portion of the city folk that have beef with Monica's decisions, but what Vane did was extremely rash. He's a conservative, same as you. Aren't you for keeping things as they are? Don't be under any illusion. I'm not opposing Monica. All I want to do is keep the peace in the city. So that's the state of affairs and keep my daughter from marrying um, What's-His-Bucket. Uh, let's see, it was Julieta and um, Romero, that's right. I'm like, I was trying to like reverse engineer Romeo and Juliet <laughs> into their names respectively into this game. Oh, that's funny. Are the Ouroboros candidates all right? Yeah, they're good. Were you worried about them? Of course, those youths are the ones that will have to carry this city. Just tell them not to do something like that again, okay? Yeah, maybe, if we feel like it. The cook-off result was very close. I think any of the entrants could have been the winner. Miyabi came really close too. I hope she'll take the prize next year. Her cooking just has some kind of glow to it. And I know a thing or two about cooking, so I'm not wrong. Julieta turned out to be a real trooper, but there's actually another soldier who's in conflict with their high pedigree. That's Olive, an Ouroboros candidate. She's from a branch family of one of the six houses. Conservative at that. So she's a conservative, but also an Ouroboros candidate? She's a rare case, certainly. Conservatives usually oppose fighting Mobius. They block it every chance they get. But Olive took it upon herself to kick that particular wall down. Really, it was quite an achievement. Leave the city to us, we got it covered. You go with Monica. I've got my fingers crossed for some good news here, so you'd better not croak. Okay, we do have to check down here. Hey kids! You get yourselves home before dark, yeah? Gosh, Mon Monica is just like a mom to everybody. The Ouroboros candidate, except for the one that clearly is in love with her. <laughs> All these kids here in city, it's great. Hey, you two, where are your hero quests? Azalea's dad got out of the prison camp and made it back. Azalea's really made up, and so am I. Alright, just to be absolutely sure that, like, maybe Monica's was a prerequisite. Let's see if Kamaravi shows up and we're here now. Of my life. Come on. Come on. Oh, he did disappear. Oh, well, duh, he's with us, dumbass. I don't know why I got excited about that. It's like, duh. <laughs> Leaving Ethel on her own. Where's your hero quest, my man? I 
could look it up. There doesn't seem to be any more rumors here, but I think there might be a couple people up here. No, we're good. Okay, I think I think we're I think we're done. At least for now. There may be other things that when we do out in the world will prerequisite something here, but looks like for now we're done. I guess just to be absolutely sure, we'll dip around this end here and make sure that there's nothing down that hallway. Thank you for what you did at Corn Island. Gondor and the Ouroboros candidates have really grown by coming into contact with you guys. Given any thoughts to Jansen yet? Ah, that. That will have to wait. Right? <laughs> Now's not the time. Now's not the time. I get it. Hey, what you been up to lately? Right now I'm boning up on Levness related stuff. Maintenance, piloting, all that. I'll need that if I'm going to travel the world. I promised Eilis a visit, so I gotta get all this stuff down pat as soon as I can. You better make sure you keep to that promise, Mamba. Eilis is pretty scary when the rage descends. Huh? For real? I wouldn't have thought that. Just imagine Eilis' face all screwed up with rage. I like it. <laughs> He's excited about it. Hey Jansen, how you feeling after your, um... Outspoken moment? At the Remembrance Stones, I reported that the mission my brother and the others set out for is complete. After all these years, I also told him to entrust protecting Monica to me, and to watch over us. A kind of declaration of war, if you will. Okay. I do not want to ride that vehicle. <laughs> Man up! If you don't get in, you're getting left behind me. That's hilarious. Kamarabi's like, please don't make me. That thing goes straight up into the air. I can't handle that. Okay, well and truly, there are no rumors here. There are no rumors. Anything over here? Nope, you guys good? Shall we stop it on Travis while we're here? I suppose we could go oh, and check Travis. He could have now. a rumor next That's to him, nice. right? In the, uh... Yeah, let's just be thorough. Let's be thorough. Okay, no rumor, but we can talk to him. Looks like the Ouroboros candidates have gotten a real nice boost from you guys. The boss too, truth be told. Maybe even me a little tiny bit. Hmm? What is it now? I came to get a slightly closer look. I was just worried that you had a rather worn out countenance. Oi, this is my regular old face, alright? Keep a mental note, bushy brows. Now settle down, there's no need for such anger. Why are you the one acting all hurt? I'm the one who always takes the flack around here. So that's the state of affairs. <laughs> alright. Bit of unique dialogue because Kamaravi was with us. That's interesting. I like it. Um, okay. Give me one second. Okay, so I looked it up, and apparently his quest is supposed to be here at the Cloud Keep. But there's no question mark. So either we haven't met some prerequisite that this wiki doesn't know about, or maybe there isn't a question mark for his starting his. I don't know why that would be. That's That would be an odd choice and kind of out of character for this game. Hmm. We haven't done anything down there, so I wonder if maybe it, it'll be down there once it can actually be triggered. But like clearly there's some other prerequisite for us to be able to start this and I just don't know what it is. Huh. Let's go to the top real quick. Also, kind of weird to think that uh, Poppy is just chilling in this thing. What you doing in here, Poppy? Huh? What you doing? Yeah, okay. I guess we just can't do this one yet. 
I don't know what the prerequisite's gonna be, but we'll just have to keep an eye on that. All right, so at this point, let's do... We only have two of these at the moment. Oh yeah, Festival of the War, I remember. I got mad at that fight. <laughs> Forgot about that. Okay, let's do Castle Guard. And also, while we're doing that, we should probably also discuss the painting because there might... That might unlock a new... A new quest of some kind in, in the city as well. So yep, we'll go here, we'll discuss that. We'll walk around town a little bit to see if there are any other rumors as well. Everyone, get some rest. Painting on display. I just wanted to confirm. Is it true that people have been going mad for Stefan's painting? Well, I've heard that too. Apparently the city set love it. Seriously? Ugh, ridiculous. I can get behind Fiona's, but Amobius's? K's? Like, if they were using it for target practice? Ugh, sure, fine, whatever. Fill your boots, but this? Setting aside the fact that it depicts Amobius, the city puts value in the work. They're calling it a masterpiece. I know the painting's not him, but it still has this, I don't know, a presence. It's uncanny. Indeed, when real mastery of the art is deployed, even an uninitiated eye can tell. That must be why it's so highly praised. To put it another way, hate the Mobius, not the art. <laughs> I don't think that's the saying, love. <laughs> hate the artist, not the art. Yeah, you not quite the same. <laughs> uh, let's be off. Panina, what's up? Kitty kitty come over other day to play little performance on instrument. Now console not here to forbid could enjoy snacks and music at the same time, symphony and mouth and ears. That sounds lovely. I wish I could have been here to hear it. Yes, highly recommend. Not to miss out next time. So that's the state of affairs. Is this kid still hanging out back here? Nah. Okay. Alright, we'll do a little bit of a loop here just to see if there are any rumors laying around. What level is this one? This one's a 64. Let's try it. Let's try it at this level. Kamarabi's a little over leveled, but that's okay. He'll just help make up the difference just a tiny bit, I guess. Considering we're under leveled at the time for for the time being. It just means we'll get more CP, and I'm okay with that. Assuming we succeed. Which is definitely not a guarantee. <laughs> okay, let's read this quest so that we remind ourselves what we're doing here. The captain of the guard is looking for the party. Go and see what she needs. Dill. I'm here. Hmm, yes. This'll be a good way to keep up the castle's rate of ether conversion. Proceed. Roger that. Excuse me. Oh, there you are. I didn't think you'd come. We heard that you were looking for us. Right you are. It shouldn't take long to explain, and it'll really help us out. You might already know that the Guard is soon going to start a large-scale training exercise. Yes, we'd heard something to that effect. Not to put too fine a point on it, but I'd like to ask you to help with the training. Us? Really? The queen in the castle was a fake. But we never doubted her. We blindly accepted that imitation and betrayed the real queen's hopes. But you, you're stronger than that. You can show us the proper way to train. The guards, those fancy troops who control the castle grounds, yeah? Problem is, we can't go easy on elites like them, training or not. 
We can't and we won't. Huh? What? We're, we're actually doing this? Things must be tough at the castle, what with everything going on right now. Uh, fair point. Not really much room to complain then, I guess. You'll help then. Brilliant. Hopefully this will get them working better together. What's going on? You got, like, descent in the ranks? Sadly, yes. The guard is split into two units. Sultnar squad and Katoral squad. Let's just say the two of them aren't the best of friends right now. We're hoping that this training will remind them of the importance of teamwork. Right, understood. We'll see what we can do, then. Our soldiers should already be waiting at the east entrance to Garden Defense Base. Thanks for your help. So that's the state of affairs. think this is? Do we think that this is, um, shoot, I'm forgetting the name of it. The one that, um, in Xenoblade 2, do we think that this is part of the Titan that was, like, dying? The one that stood up on two legs? That was, like, the industry place? Shit, what was that place called? Can't remember. Played that game too long ago. I have been watching a playthrough, but, um, I haven't watched any parts where they go to that place again, so I don't remember what it's called. It's where Bridget and Morag are from. It's vital to keep a record of events. Hello there, Ouroboros. The captain of the guard filled me in on the situation. I don't believe we've met. Winona, captain of Katoral squad. And this is Heath, captain of Sultanar squad. Pleasure to meet you. As far as I'm concerned, there's no higher honor than getting to train with the illustrious Ouroboros. I'm not convinced we'll win, but by the queen, we'll give it everything we've got. Tch, losing before you've even started. What idiocy. I say you're the idiot here. Underestimating an opponent like this only invites disaster. False bravado is a poor strategy indeed. Aren't you just... Like, these two? I bet you if they kissed it out, they'd be good. They'd be absolutely good. This is all just sexual tension. They don't know what to do with it, because they don't understand what sex is. <laughs> you shut your mouth. This is what the captain was talking about, I see. Uh, shall we kick off the training? It's the same thing with Kamaravi and Ethel. They were probably just attracted to each other and didn't know what that meant, so they ended up just, like, wanting to kill each other instead. <laughs> Sorry. This is very unprofessional. Let me explain the exercise. We'll be split into two teams, one on the offense and one defense. The attackers win if they manage to take control of this area. The defenders, on the other hand, will need to inca incapacitate all members of the opposing side. Of course, as the guard, we'll be taking the defensive position, so that leaves you to attack. Eh, sounds good. I know very well that you're stronger than the norm, but I'm not going to give up my position as the first guard unit so easily. Why would you be giving up the position if you lose here? Is that, like, actually a thing right now? There's hardly a Volf's whisker between the first and second units. Okay, so you're both really great? <laughs> Is everybody ready? We're underleveled, but I think we can do it. Let's get this done. Really depends on how well our Ouroboros can uh, crowd control going? with this group. I think that's going to be the key here, because that's a lot of people, which means that's a lot of damage. This will be a challenge. Don't lose focus. I need you, Mio. Ready to go? Mio, Okay, Yumi's down. Hey, 
Oh no! He blocked it and I couldn't do my big attack. What a jerk. Okay, one group down. We have to beat all 29. We can do that. All under control. Fight with focus. Stay on your toes. How dare you? Try to knock me out of my power charge. Try that again. I say try, but you succeeded, so. <laughs> Right Where did you guys even come from? Here we go, guys. Okay, let's go, Noah. Oh, we took the Come after me, and that's what you get. If only you didn't charge off on your own. You guys must have been uh, walking Keep around the area, huh? Them. Let us cross blades one last time. Yeah, this is going to be some good CP, I feel like, considering we're underleveled. So, who do we need to keep an eye on? Let's see, Tyon's actually already done. Let's see, can we move you into a different attacker class? And also, do you have... No, you're not the one with the memory thing. We could do Ogre. We could also do Sword Fighter, all things considered. I'll take the yeah, offense. let's do Sword Fighter. And you can have the Monado. Because why the hell not? Here we go, guys. Okay, let's go, Noah. Keep climbing on the damage. Great work, Sarah. Can't hold them off. No, gotta keep their attention. This again. Can't let you go here, Noah. Time to get crushed. I can't hold them. I need you, Mia. Uh, uh, you're doing me. Time to get crushed. Uh, oh, we can do this. This is such a good combo, it's ridiculous. Like they never stood a freaking chance, man. This is all decent, right?
Fight with focus. Stay on your toes. More enemies. I'll keep them occupied. Have a cut, Strap. I need you, Mia. Yeah. Yeah. Ring of roses. Purple. Oh, that's the exclamation for the area. Gotcha. All right, this is going to be the real challenge right here. This fight. We'll see what happens. Oh, something's coming down. Here we go, guys. Okay, let's go, Noah. We've got it. We're coming in, Leon. Sounds about to me. That was way more intense than I expected. So that's what Ouroboros is like up close and personal. Speak for yourselves, you ain't slouches. We're all strong individually, but much more when we work together. I'd almost forgotten the importance of that. We work perfectly well together in our squad. We've never lost a single... Oh, yeah. Not anymore, buddy. Your perfect record's gone, my friend. Heath. Yeah, okay. Sultanar squad, Katoral squad. Guess I can't deny that we're all cut from the same cloth. Thanks for the reminder. Really, there's no need. Oh, but there is. I'll re-examine my formations and strategies while this bitter defeat remains fresh in my mind. Huh, guy's got spirit. I like him. Hey, if you earned Uni's respect, that's that's pretty big, Heath. That's pretty big. Hey, how long are you going to lollygag around? Hop to it. Oh, man, I hurt. Uh, my bones. Winona, you get over here, too. But my bones! <laughs> well, he seems more chirpy than before the training exercise. I think some things finally clicked in that fight with you. There was something missing in him. No, in the whole of the guard. What, the idea that you can lose? I can't thank you enough for today. We'll have to really hone our skills if we want to get the better of you. And that's that. Yeah. Reminds you of us, doesn't it? No? You know how we all tried to take on too much ourselves and all that? Yeah, I can see where you're coming from. That all went great, I thought. Great training. Great battle, even. Were you watching? I caught the tail end of it, but still. Thanks to you, I think both Heath and Winona have learned the aspects they need to improve upon. We the Guard are tasked with protecting the Queen's person, and what she stands for. 
so we need to be stronger than the rest. But that doesn't mean just individual strength. When you can truly accept your peers, warts and all, that's when you see the beginnings of strength. So it's like you need to have some kind of special bond? A uh, bond? Yes, that's a good way to put it. It may sound trite, but I think there's a greater strength than just tactics and theory. Sounds like you getting us to work with Heath and Winona was a huge su success. <laughs> not at all. You lot are the real heroes here, really. Thank you, Ouroboros. Anyway, I'd better go and see how my Valiant subordinates are holding up. Don't work them too hard. And tell them we'll beat them next time and all. We'll beat them again next time and all. The Castle Guard, as requested by Sigrun, the party trained with the guards led by Heath and Winona, teaching them the value of cooperation. Great guys, keep this up. Oh, so that's how they're doing. You guys actually still want to fight? Guess they would, huh? You think you're all that, do you? I'll call them. This will keep me going. I need you, Mia. You can't get away. You're throwing me up. Dragon tail. 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 Dragon so the moment we have a full on burst combo. Nice. Yeah, I guess the uh, the class that Lands is in has that burst, so that's great. That was pretty much what I expected. I'd say we were moving in sync, right, Tile? Hey, we actually got them all. Okay, these must be new ones that unlocked. Hey, we actually got them all. Sigrun's got one. We're missing one rare item. That seems to be the case with several of these. Shepherd's Purse. I bet you if we just looked these up, we could probably finish out a bunch of these pretty quickly because we're we're most uh, we're almost there on several of them. <laughs> Not to worry. Just stick to the plan. We're dying. We're dying. Oh, you 
here while he's dazed. We'll hurt him. First in line. If we can, we should save our burst until, uh, till the end. Somebody good back. Leave it to you, Nick. Don't know if that's gonna be enough. We're gonna find out. Um, let's see. I think that Senna will get a bonus if we choose somebody who also is a defender, right? We didn't have an attacker, so we can't do that bonus for him, but we'll just naturally get a bonus with you. gonna be enough. That's that's a pretty big ask. You're in for it now. Okay. Okay, thank you, girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, we're not done yet. Proud of you, Senna. <laughs> pretty big ask and she delivered. Oh, right. Okay, at this point we're gonna burst. We're gonna burst on this guy. Oh. 
All right, let's go ahead and end the episode here. So thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one, everybody. I give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Seventh Son, Len, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Andrew Smith, Molly, Chris Murphy, JW, and Jordan and Emily Hill. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.